took cover behind a car and he shot the guy. He knows about guns and he knows what a gun sounds like. I saw two men exchanging gunfire, the other being a citizen of the community. And but if it wasn't for him, the guy wouldn't have stopped. He just was a member of the community. Running barefooted toward the shooting. Try and get him. Uh, to get him to get him apprehended or whatever needed to happen. Hi YouTube, this is Puerto Rico and today I want to talk a little bit about when events like the church attack in Sutherland Springs happen that anti-gun people don't want you to hear about. For those who have not heard, this past November 5th it was an attack on the Baptist Church it was an attack on the Baptist Church at Sutherland Spring, Texas where more than 20 people were killed. He was an ex-United States Air Force agent and this guy is already being accused of assault to his wife and his kid in the past in 2012. He served a year in prison because of this same reason and he was discharged in 2014 and this caused a decrease in his rank too. When the attack happened, the authorities described this guy wearing all black tactical gear including a ballistic vest. So he was ready to go for this. They state that the guy was on the gas station across the church. He drive across the street, he get in front of the church, he get off the car and as he start walking into the church, he start shooting uh, the people inside. When this happened, it, there is about more than 20 people that die in this incident and some of them are being transferred to the hospitals to be treated. And now this is the side that the anti-gun people want you to hear that this crazy guy got a gun because we can buy gun, this is America and then he starts shooting people and killing people. But now they see the other side of the story. They also describe in the report that one guy have a shotgun out of his house and he shoot the guy by the open area by the head. Then another guy was interviewed that he saw what everything was going on and this other guy came running with a rifle and thought this guy was going on and this guy is down to follow to chase the attacker and stop him because everything is going on they're trying to prevent more people from being hurt like, this is a behavior from heroes that these people save other people then these two guys follow the, the guy they say they were going 95 miles per hour it's really dangerous they got really close to the guy and the guy slowed down and he crashed then this guy stayed like 25 yards away with one guy was talking to the police and the other guy have a rifle aiming to the guy in case something happened then later on when everything happened the report came out and it said that the, the guy was found dead with a gunshot wound but they don't know it was a civilian who shoot the guy or the, if the guy commit suicide. Now let's watch this clip real quick. He came, he came with his and he uh, took cover behind a car and he shot the guy. Um, I'm not sure if it was inside the church when the guy was coming out, but if it wasn't for him, the guy wouldn't have stopped. And then that's when the guy got in his vehicle and drove off and our friend shot, uh, out, uh, shot through the window at him trying to get him again and then he uh, apparently crashed down the road. So this is the part that one Antigone people want you to hear is the story that a crazy guy went outside to the church and killed everybody. He was shooting like crazy and he tried to leave. But the other side on us, like people that believe in the second amendment, we can see how other people also help to stop this guy and it's not out on the authorities. If we, if we have way for authorities to come in, maybe that guy will flew away and killed other people in another place because he was done pretty much. What I want to say with this video is like people like me, like you, we can support the second amendment and we can carry our guns and in situations like this we can stop the bad people trying to do damage to others. I just found this video, this is the cousin of the man who shoot the attacker that explained how his daughter heard the shots and told the dad and the dad went to the safe and got his AR loaded and shoot the guy who was attacking on the church who apparently was reloading at that time outside the church and that's when the whole chase thing occurred so let's see this clip this so let's watch this clip too me here right now is Johnny Langendorf he was driving past the church when he saw the shooting and Johnny can you tell me what happened next um, no, I, I pulled up to I pulled up to the intersection where the shooting happened, and I saw two men exchanging gunfire. The other being a citizen of the community, and um, the shooter of the church had taken off, fled in his vehicle, and the other gentleman came, and he said we needed to pursue him. That he just shot up the church, and so that's what I did. I just acted, and 
got him off road and okay so this is a good example of a good civilian just respecting the second amendment doing the right thing and this is a good day and this these are the good person that defend yourself your family and the people around and this is another example of people who can stop these catastrophic events so the end of this story i just want to say support the second amendment this is something that is going to benefit all of us some people because of this happened they're gonna say guns are bad they're gonna keep going versus the guns but what we need to really regulate is this guy he was crazy he was in prison he assaulted his wife his kid that this guy was not mentally stable to own a gun and he have a couple of those but people like me like people who are doing it the right way we are doing to defend ourselves and the people around us so you need to see both sides here so what i want to say with all this is to support the second amendment like responsible people is going to respond for you and your family and for themselves and they're gonna do the good thing so this is all I have to say. This is Puerto Rico. I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe and hit the like button and see you until next time.